privileged to receive two new ambulances here at the emergency ambulance service. Um, we have waited a long time for this because these two ambulances represent um, replacement for vehicles which were involved in accidents. So it's been a while, but we are thankful to God that they are here. Um, we are very grateful to the Board of Management of the QVH and to NASCO Limited and the Management of the Ambulance Service that have collaborated to bring us here. NASCO would have facilitated the ambulances um, moving from the Toyota factory in Japan to Thailand where they are retrofitted the way we will see them as we go outside. Um, they will enhance our capacity to respond, these two new ambulances. They will help us to further save lives and to improve the quality of life for our Barbadians and our visitors alike. Um, these ambulances are equipped with some of the latest technology. You will, have a carrier, you, you will see the carrier monitor, for example, oxygen delivery system and so on. And in the very near future, we will also be featuring on the ambulances a device known as the autopulse which is a mechanical device to assist us in doing CPR and takes away some of the, the, the hand, hand movements and so on. Right, so in the past, you would have seen persons doing CPR and it's a, really, you're just on a person's chest, up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, if you can just put your mind to a moving vehicle and someone is behind you doing that. Now, the autopulsive device that actually goes around the person's chest like a vest and that actually does the compression for you. So that the technician or the paramedic, what they'll what be doing is just managing the airway, and all of the compression will be done by this device. Mm -hmm. That's basically what the autopulse is. So it's safer for the technician as well? Yes, it's safer for the technician, yes. Mm -hmm. 